You know, the group that clearly has the most to lose, which I think this is brilliant because it hopefully isolates, is Harry and Louise. It's the insurance industry. I, I've accidentally found myself seated at a dinner party with a guy who turned out to be a lobbyist for one of the big insurers just before the election. And after the third drink, he said, you know, if the Democrats win, we're screwed. And I was too polite to say, I certainly hope so. <laughs> uh, here's, my, here's my question. Um, there are two, um, I would say, evils that, that this would squeeze out over time if it works the way you hope. One is the private insurance industry. The second is less of an evil than an expensive complication, and that is the reliance of uh, people to get their insurance from their employers. And it would seem to me that by setting the number at, at 6%, the, the, the percent of payroll that you as an employer would have to pay to pay rather than play. You're setting in train a gradual process whereby the whole system gradually shifts from 50-50 to 60-40 to 70-30 so that after a couple of generations almost everybody is in the quasi-Medicare program. Is that the intent? Okay, so... <laughs> well, it would not... I would not be upset were that to occur. <laughs> However,